Hi, this is Dr. Dave. Let's take a look at an example where we are trying to count license plates. Suppose that you know that a license plate's first three numbers are 3, 6, and 8, but you do not know the order of these numbers. In addition, these numbers are followed by the letters A, B, and F, but you don't know the order of these letters. How many license plates are there with these numbers and letters? So in a lot of these problems, we've been drawing tree diagrams. And when we draw a tree diagram, we have to draw branches for each one of the tasks that we're looking at. Here, we've got six different tasks that we have to look at. We have to choose the first number, the second number, the third number, and then the first letter, the second letter, and the third letter. So I'd have to have a tree which branches six times. Now that's going to just be monstrous. So instead of this, I'm going to think about when I make these branches, how many possibilities are there? So I'm going to have to first look at the first number, the second number, and the third number. Once I do that, then I can go ahead and look at the first letter, the second letter, and the third letter. All right, so let's think about that first number. It's got to be chosen from 3, 6, or 8, so there are three possibilities for that. Now, once I've chosen the first letter, the second letter has to come from the remaining two. So there's two possibilities. Once I've chosen the first number and the second number, then I automatically know there's only one possibility left for the third number. Now, it's kind of like that for the letters. I'm choosing from three letters, so the first letter could be one of three things. The second letter, once I've chosen the first, could come from the remaining two, and then the last letter from the remaining one. If I multiply these all together, that would give me the total number of branches on this tree. And so 3 times 2 times 1 times 3 times 2 times 1, that's 36. So there are 36 possible plates. Notice that I didn't have to go ahead and draw the tree diagram here, but if I did, it would have started out with three branches, and then off of each one of those three branches, there'd be two more branches, and then off of those two branches, there'd be one branch. Then from that branch, there would be three, then two, then one. So that would give me my 36 possible plates. Here, if I can think about the things that I'm doing here, right, I can think about the first number, the second number, the third number, the first letter, the second letter, and know that those are my branches. If I know the possibilities for each of those, all I have to do is multiply them together to get the total number of possibilities.